What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a game called Boxing School where we will teach pugilists to punch people right in the dome piece until we win money. Let's go for it. Start the game off. Yup, let's do it. Let's do it. It's time to box. I'm ready. It's time to do that sweet, sweet science. Welcome to Boxing School. Today you've decided to buy your own gym and start your new career as a boxing manager. That seems like the better play in all honesty. Like A, you don't have to get punched. B, you get a ton of money for it. And then C, at the end of the day, you still own a gym and property just in case you got to liquidate. Like I feel like it's a, it's a solid plan that's going to keep you moving. Like being the boxer himself, like yeah, you get more glory or whatever. But if you're like not good at it, it's basically just getting punched for a living. Frankie's Gym. No. It's going to be called Splatty's place there we go all right so our first boxing recruit we have a boxer we have a brawler we have a counter puncher and we have a swarmer the swarmer is an aggressive and not and a fast non-stop assault style of fighting they attempt to close with the opponent throwing intense flurries and combinations okay counter punchers are slippery defensive style fighters okay all right all right all right so we've got like, you know, we've got like the Tysons up in here, and then we got like the Mayweathers, we got the Slugger Tank, a brawler is a fighter who lacks finesse and footwork in the ring but makes up for it through sheer punching power and the ability to absorb substantial amounts of punishment. So there you go, then we got like the Rocky over here, the Balboa, and then punching power, I don't know, I'm, I've run out of boxers unfortunately. I'm just, I'm not a big boxing guy, I've run out of boxers, alright? I've run out of boxers. I'll probably go with... Let's go with Counter Puncher. That sounds good. Play for the points, man. Yeah, recruit this guy. Alright, so we're in the minor circuit. We have boxing equipment. So our current champion is Roman the Relentless Blair. We gotta work our way up through Dexter Dynamite Vance, Rex Vicious Ingram, and Jack's Merciless Burgess. Alright, so there's a lot of dudes out the jackhammer. I'm a little terrified. I don't want to be in the ring with the jackhammer. All right, well, let's stop this off for a second. Yo, our boxer looks a little dented right now. I think our boxer might need a... I think our boxer might need some help. I think we need to take him to the hospital. I don't think he's looking... He doesn't look good. I'm telling you that. Like, that facial expression right there does not convince me that he's in decent shape right now. I think that he's a little bit scuffed. Uh, we can assign training. So we can put him on the treadmill for stamina. That's probably a good idea. There you go. Get up on... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no so in the gym shop what can I buy we've got three hundred dollars we got heavy bags we've got the treadmill which is for stamina we've got weightlifting for health I kind of want bags yeah let's let's grab the heavy bag real fast I mean what boxing gym is complete without a heavy bag so he's got a little bit of stamina gone so we can send him home to go get like all tooled up real fast so that he's not quite as exhausted anymore. So we click on next day. And hopefully we can get some more training in. Dude, our boxing gym's kind of rough. We have no hospital bills, so that's good. It's the next day now. You are now a licensed boxing manager registered to compete in the lowest competition called the Minor Circuit. There are currently 1,536 amateur and semi-pro boxers competing in the Minor Circuit rankings. Your job is now to train your first recruit, Blue Serpent, and get him ready to fight in the ring. I, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll send him to the treadmill to finish off his stamina training. Because they said stamina was going to be really, really important for our build. So we'll work on that, and then we'll try and get something else done, too. So he got stamina, like what, plus one? All right, stop that training. And so let me take a look at his profile. So he's 36 years old. He's a little bit long in the tooth for a boxing career, but, like, maybe. Maybe. Stats can be increased from training in the gym. How fast you can gain stats are affected by fighting style, level, and potential. All right, do we have any skills available? He's a counter puncher. Yeah, increases stamina by a little bit. I think he's going to need all the help that he's going to get. And then over here, we've got Splatty's Place. Okay, we've got fan clubs. And then we can also customize them if we want to. Yeah, we'll have them all in black. That looks good. Blue Serpent. I don't know what I want his... I'm going to name him like... I'm going to name him... There we go. We'll call him Pillow Punches. Mike Pillow Punches Tyler. we got to deceive the enemy so that they don't know what's coming. So he's out of stamina. Let's go ahead and send him home. I don't think there's anything else we can do. 
So as a boxing manager, we have one point to spend. So we can hire veteran staff. We can go with training boost right there. We can go with competition in the minor circuit, which I think we already have. We've got public surface. Oh, really? We can get extra credits for that. Or we can go talent scout. Yeah, let's... Let's maybe get that one right there. We'll spend a point getting some extra money put together. As far as our gym goes, is there anything else we can upgrade in here? So we've got the speed bags. We've got the treadmill. I think it'd probably be a really good idea for his speed to get worked on, too. He's got the mirror. So we've got slow gain in the boxing ring. That'll give him everything. we got a radio. We can also renovate the gym and make it nicer. Yeah, let's get a jump rope. We'll see if the jump rope does better with stamina than some of the other stuff we're trying to do right now. Because, honestly, it's taken him a while to get that done. But I'm hoping that if we push stamina, he'll be able to train for longer so that we can get better training sessions in. All 1,536 boxers competing in minor are ranked on their win-loss record. The highest ranked are the top contenders and challengers for the title. Your goal is to make sure your boxer wins fights to get noticed and earn the right to challenge better opponents. Higher career fame means more audience and more opportunities. All right. Well, here, you go... I mean, treadmilling's fine. But I feel like being on the treadmill... Apparently, we can do a boost, too. But damn, dude. This guy does not have a lot of stamina. He's tiring out quick. I guess we'll go to the next day. He's tiring out real quick. Like, I was expecting to at least get, like, some kind of training in. But he stayed on the treadmill for, like, 30 seconds. Uh, go ahead and put him on jump rope. We'll see what happens over here. Yeah, you might as well push the boost and see what happens. But it looks like that actually reset our training from the treadmill. So I guess you got to do the same training every single day. Yeah, if you assign a new training while already working on another, your current progress will be reset. See, that should be blended. Like, if this works on stamina and this works on stamina, I don't see why you should lose your progress in between the two. They both work on stamina, you know what I mean? Uh, we can go minor circuit. Like, we can send him out there and, like, see what happens. Although, I don't think it's going to let me until I get him ready to actually fight. So, they've set us up with a fight right now, but he's really close to being done training. So, I'm going to try and get him, like, a little bit more progress over here. So, he got plus 5 health and he got plus 2 stamina. You can stop training now. That's fine. I do wish that there was, like, a bench or something we could sit him on. But then again, the game doesn't really have a time limit or anything like that either. And so, we'll take the fight tomorrow, maybe. And we'll kind of see how he performs. Although, I've got my doubts it's going to go well. This may be us just getting punched in the face. All right, so we've got our range of minor fight. Let's go ahead and set it up. Hits to the head reduce health and damage. Okay, hits to the body reduce their stamina and speed. Hit and block cost stamina. Full power bar triggers your ultimate ability. Okay, well, I mean, get in there, champ. We got a little bit more stamina than he does, but he's faster than us, and he's got more health. Let's go ahead and, like, stay on, stay on defense a little bit. And then we'll go for, like... Let's work the body. Let's work the body. All right, let's do this thing. Ding, ding. Everybody in. You're the best around. Nothing's going to ever bring you down. You're the best around. Nothing's going to ever bring you down. Dude, why are you taunting? All you did was punch him in the gut. Oof. You better like, dude, dude, dude. You better put something back. Yeah, you better like give something back. Come on, bro. Don't just, like, sit there and get worked on. I, I need you to be, like, in... Dude, he's working us right now. He's working us. It's rough out there, boss. What do I need to do? Defend. Defend. Defend and work the body. He's got terrible speed. Just defend and work the body. Oh, my God. We're so messed up right now. Oh, my God. This boxer is worthless. This man. Get your hands up, bro. Knee in, knee out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, we got knocked in the in round two. We just got decimated, dude, in round two. So apparently I got 300 bucks. We got a little bit of XP, so he's going to be able to level up. Let's take a look at his skills, and maybe we can do something for him here. Yeah, give him a little bit more stamina. Let's staminate this guy a little bit. We got body blocks, and we got head blocks. All right, so the defensive master apparently is not what the game is looking for right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll work after the training boost for the moment. 
uh, you, sir, need to, like, get the hell back on the treadmill. I need you to just, like, do something here. Like, you gotta, you gotta put some effort into this thing, man. With the way you got tuned up that last fight, I am not confident in your abilities to earn for this gym. And that's why you're here, to make money. Like, I know you enjoy the sport of boxing or whatever, but, like, I need you to buckle down, I need you to dig deep, and I need you to think about this. Alright? Is this where you want your career to end? Right here in this corner? Right here in this corner to this lace curtain, dude? No! No! Buy a radio in the shop? I mean, I guess I can. I can buy a radio. There you go, I bought a radio. What does the radio do? Oh, it gives us, like, training montage music. Alright. So, like, what's wrong with the treadmill? How come that's not working? I mean, at least we got this awesome montage music. That's pretty sweet. Like, I want you to go back on the treadmill, but I don't know why he's not doing the treadmill. Maybe he's too tired. It seems possible. We'll send him home. He had a fight yesterday, and so he's probably feeling a little bit sore and, like, scuffed up. He's probably got, like, I don't know, like, a little welt on his jaw. Like, he's probably not feeling too good. Probably got, like, a busted orbital. I guess go work the heavy bag. I ain't got nothing else to work on. Oh, wow, he's leveling heavy bag pretty quickly. Like, it's actually going up at, like, a reasonable pace. I could take that. Yeah, do it. I wish, like, I don't know what the boost does, but I kind of wish the boost did more. Maybe it does after we get some skill points in or something and we can make it, like, more functional. Alright, well, finish your heavy bag training. Get a little bit more power. I'm going to keep him on heavy bag for a little bit. And then we'll reconvene once I feel like he's ready. So I figured out what was wrong with our treadmill and everything else. Uh, the durability is low. You gotta pay to have the stuff fixed. So apparently your stuff wears down, and then you've gotta have like people working on it in order to make it better. I honestly think the best place to put him is on the heavy bag. Yeah, boost him now. Oh, we got the boost right at the beginning. Yep, let's get it. Let's get it. I don't actually see that much more progress from the boost, unfortunately. Like, we got a little bit more. Probably like 20% more. But we'll send him home. We'll get one more round of strength training in. Because the heavy bag is like the bread and butter of the boxing arsenal. It's important. Like, you need to work the heavy bag. Because that's how you get used to the impact of your fist. Make sure you're not rolling. Your wrist, you know, anything else like that. It also makes sure that your form is good. Because if you're hitting the heavy bag wrong, it's just not going to feel right. If we had a speed bag up in here, too, that's number two. We need a speed bag as well. But we'll work on the... What does that mean? Oh, he's got a level up, so 5% of more stats, we can go, yeah, protect your head, protect your neck. I need you to be, like, watching your defense, keeping it tight. All right, let's get this strength trained up. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Boost him, and then tomorrow we'll have a big fight. There you go, boost it on up, baby. Boost it on up. All right, send him home. He's 95% fit for a fight. We're going to make this happen. It wants me to recruit a scout, but I don't have the levels to do it right now, so I'll do that, like, soon. But we do have a fight right now. Let's go to the next day just to make sure his condition's good. He's had like a week off from being punched. I know there's normally like four to six weeks in between fights for boxers or something like that. Most boxers only fight like a couple times a year. It's not like, unless they're like, I guess, lower leagues maybe. I don't know. Like professional boxers that are making the millions definitely don't fight. Like they get a lot of recovery time in between fights because they get worked over pretty hard. All right. Let's go ahead and throw him into another fight. We got this. All right, so this guy's stronger than us. We have more stamina than he does, though. So I'm going to say to defend yourself. Like, don't be afraid to go on the attack, but definitely defend yourself, all right? Like, do what you got to do. I'm thinking this fighter might be a wash, though. Oh, these first, like, these instantaneous stuns we keep getting right at the beginning. Oh, he got me with the head block. Yikes. Apparently he gassed out too. We all gassed out. Everybody gassed out. So we outran him with the stamina, so that's good. Come on, keep them hands up. Keep them hands up. We made it to round two. We made it to round two. I'm going to need you to go full attack this time just to see what happens. I want to see how this goes if you go full attack because like, I feel like we're not getting a whole lot. You better pop him right in his mouth. 
Don't let him taunt you like that. Yeah, don't let him taunt you like that. Stay on him, champ. That's what I'm talking about. Work this dude. <laughs> no, don't taunt. Oh, got him with the body hit. That's good. That's good. Keep this dude where... Ooh! Oh! With the surprise knocked out in the second after taking a thrashing in the first round. Oh, he got his first ding-ding. Take a stride around the ring, champ. Take a stride around the ring. Let him know who you are. Shout that name. Apparently, we leveled up a little bit. We also got a $50 bonus for the win, so that's cool. That'll help us, like, repair some equipment or something. Back to the heavy bag. Apparently, all attack is where it's at. When you put them on all defense, apparently, they just do not apply themselves to actually defending. They just stand there and get punched. So, I'm going to put them on attack from now on. Yeah, get a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Get a little bit more damage. You got that plus one. So, now we're at eight damage. He's also got a few other things he can do. So we can get more of our stats back. Unblockable heavy attack to the head that stuns it. Yeah, do uppercut. That sounds like a winner right there. That sounds like a winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, send this man home. Let him get some rest. He earned it. His fight was good. His fight was good. So he's one and one now. We're not quite so behind the eight ball. If we were 0-2 right now, I'd be a little bit worried. But we're all right. We're going to be okay. Put him back on the heavy bag. Hopefully we get an early boost. If we don't get an early boost, then he'll have to finish his damage next time around. Apparently the bag broke. Yeah, repair the bag. All right, get back on the heavy bag. It's fine. We got to upgrade the durability on this thing. This thing's falling apart quick. Honestly, the heavy bag should work on your stamina too. I don't know if you've ever hit a heavy bag before, but hitting a heavy bag is really tiring. Like, it's super tiring. So it should count for stamina as well, but I get why they would have things segmented out in different areas just to like force you to use different workout equipment. I am bleeding money a little bit right now. Did I get a manager level? We don't have a talent scout. Our boxing manager has no points right now. We got veteran staff or we can get a talent scout so that we can get another boxer so that we can rotate a little bit. Yeah, finish off your training on the heavy bag, dude. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Where's your profile at? So you're sitting at 10 damage right now. So you've got better stamina than most of your opponents at this level. And your damage is looking pretty good too. I'm going to give him like one or two more days of training. Yeah, send his ass home. Like a couple more days of training. And I think he should be about ready. He's not there yet, but he will be. We just got to keep like forming him from coal into a diamond. All right, our boy's fit for a fight. We kept pushing that damage. He's got a little bit more stamina. I think it's time to put him in the ring and see what happens when he hears the ding ding, all right? So he's fighting against somebody. Who's this dude? Gregory Colon. Yeah, put him on attack. Attack worked really well last time. Worked the head, too. If you can land shots on the jaw. Like, I'm more of a body shots fan myself. But, like, it seems like head shots were working pretty good for us. So we got hands up right now. Got that head block. Okay. All right. Body hit. That's okay. You can be all right. Don't let him work you like that. Oof. Well, okay. All right. It's kind of even right now. It's kind of even. Oh, we're officially gassed out. That's not good. Then again, we've got the stamina to last. So maybe... Oh, he gassed out. Get him. You got one second left. N hit him. Ah, he had two HP left. Hit him one more time. You could have sneezed on him and he would have gone down. You could have sneezed on him. Oh, no. There you go. The body hit. That was good. That's good. Work that thing. Work it. Okay. No, don't taunt. You just got punched, you idiot. Who taunts when they just got punched? Oh, you gassed him out. We might have him here. We might have him. There you go. Keep working him. Yep, let him feel it. There it is. Gregory Colon is down. Oh, he's back up. Okay. All right. So it wasn't a knockout. It was a knockdown. He's gassed out again, though. Say bye. I think we're going to win the point spread here. I can beat this guy. I just keep it like you're doing right now. Keep it like you're doing right now. The fight is going well. He's got no speed left, so you just got to keep got to keep the hands moving. Hands up. Okay, a little power punch to the gutties. All right. At least we knocked each other out. Like, at this point, it's basically just... Uh-oh. Boy, you better get back up. Man. This is like a gladiatorial war in the ring. Like, both dudes just knocking the hell out of each other. Ooh, nice head block. Nice head block. Good one. 
He's trying to outlast the round right now. Oh, you knocked him. Is it a TKO? I don't think it's a TKO, but I think he's officially done. Nice job, bud. Nice job. I'm proud of you. You've done a good job out here today. I have nothing to complain about. Winner by knockout in the third round. A flawless performance. I don't know about that one. Like, he got knocked the hell down once or twice. But we got a level up right there. So let's get the talent scout. And so we officially should be able to scout right now. We can search for sponsorship deals or we can search for boxing recruits. Let's go ahead and we'll search for a recruit real fast. What do you want to do today? I guess we can skip rope for a little bit. Yup, he probably wants to skip rope. I would love to skip the rope. This is not my favorite workout at all. I'd much rather be on the treadmill or the heavy bag if it was just me personally. But he definitely needs more HP. Like, he's gassing out pretty quickly. This will also give him a little bit of a boost to stamina. It seems like he gets a pretty big bonus. Yeah, he's tired right now, I bet. He got knocked out, like, twice by a massive punch. God, that was more like an episode of Dragon Ball Z than a boxing match. It was just them knocking each other into the corner over and over and over again. But he's 2-1. and one. He's 2 and 1. His debut did not go. What is this? You got a call from a soda brand. They want to sponsor Splatty's Place and ask that you put the logo on the wall on all your outfits. Yeah, let's do it. Splatty's Place has signed a major sponsorship deal with a soda brand. For a single payment of $2,060, there will be advertisement for 12 months in the gym and on boxing outfits. The deal has been signed as the money has been transferred to your bank account. Good. Fantastic. Let's go to the gym shop and see if we can upgrade some of this stuff. Oh, it costs us $5,000 to upgrade. That's kind of expensive. All right, well, you go get back on the rope, man. You got stuff to do. I'll watch out for the finances. Oh, there's an opportunity? What's the opportunity? I arrange fights for Jack's Merciless Burgess. I have a challenge for your best fighter. Do you want to talk? Sure. So he's level 7. Do you accept this fight? We get a 40% ticket share. But I don't want to be used as, like, a ladder fight, dude. I don't want to be used as a feeder fight. They do that in boxing where they take, like, low, mid-level guys and they'll just, like, feed them to the champ. And, like, because the feeder guy needs the paycheck, they'll take the fight, and basically they just get crushed and get their brains knocked out for three or four rounds in order to get, like, a $5,000 windfall. Like, it seems skeevy to me. It's in five days. My dude's only, like, level three or level four. I don't imagine that fight's going to go very well. But we do get ticket shares, so, yeah, I'm going to do it. So we sold 31 tickets. Pillow ain't ready for this. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. We got four days till the big match. I need montage music. Bring back my montage music. It's the only chance that we have. Burgess is going to whoop this ass, dude. I know it. We're going to get destroyed. Pillow Punch is asked you read the news about the upcoming fight. Merciless has spoken that he thinks that Pillow Punch is not strong enough to still be standing after one round in the ring. I believe in you. I believe in you, bro. Don't let him get inside your head right now. Don't let him get inside your head. This man's just talking. It's just jaw jacking. Yeah, repair that item real fast. Get that fixed. Yes, fix that. We've got the money to get it fixed, so why not? Inside the gym shop, we can probably also afford, like, yeah, get some speed bags, dude. Get some speed bags. We'll lift weights. Yeah, I'm trying to have everything up inside of here. Alright, so we've upgraded the gym quite a bit. You get back on the jump rope. If nothing else, I need you to be able to tank some of these shots to the face. <laughs> this poor bastard. This poor bastard is going to get worked. I'm so sorry. And this is like, the problem for me is that it's a video game, but this is like everything I'm against in fight sports. Where like mid-level to like low-level amateur fighters just get fed to professional level guys to boost their stats or whatever. And we're talking like legitimate brain damage and concussions and whatnot just for stat padding and because these guys are so broke trying to live their dream that they have to take the payday. Pillow Punch has asked you to read the latest news. Merciless has spoken out that he thinks the fight will be over quickly. Pillow Punches does not stand a chance. Focus on your training. Focus on your training, man. Focus on your training. Pretty good little session right there. I don't know if he'll finish it up. Hey, he did. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Five health and two stamina. Yeah, send his ass home. 
All right, one more day, and we'll see what we got going on here. Two hundred and two tickets sold. Fights in two days. Go. Go speed bag, I guess. Yeah, it does. Pop it to 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 go speed bag. He's got terrible speed, so he should be able to level this up pretty quickly. Basically, I'm just trying to get him whatever I possibly can before the fight, just to give him a few more stats to work with. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Tomorrow we'll do the same thing. Go home. Tomorrow we'll do the same thing. Damn, dude, we're making money off these ticket sales right now, though. We're making that hard and fast money off these ticket sales. Hopefully he'll get a boost today. I hope. There we go. Nice early boost. Yep, boosted again. We got two boosts. Yup, keep it going, man. Keep it going. All right, so on your profile, you got seven speed. Health is looking better. Strength is looking all right. He's fit for a fight. Let's send him home, and we'll see how he does tomorrow. The big fight, 291 spectators. Both are defense or defensive fighters. Mike pillow punches Tyler. We're not actually that outclassed right now. Go on the attack, man. Keep it aggressive. We're not that outmatched. We're a little outmatched. But this dude said we wouldn't last one round. Come on. No. Yeah, there you go. Feed it back to him. Feed it back to him. Let him have it. Yup, that's what I'm talking about. He caught a free stun right there, which kind of sucks. Well, don't let him taunt you. Punch him in the guts. There you go. Opportunism at its finest. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Keep it on him. Oh, you stunned him. Nice. He said I wouldn't last one round. Work the head, man. Work the head. Keep it all on his head right now. Oh, he regen a lot more than we did. But yeah, keep the shots on his head if you can. Oh, we gassed out at a bad time. It could be the knockout right here. Oh, he's gassed. Get him. Get him. Yeah! He said we wouldn't stand a chance if we got a knockdown, bro. You remember that time that I knocked down Sugar Ray? You remember that time that I knocked down Sugar Ray? Oh, we got this. Keep the strategy the same. That worked really well last time. Stay on the head. Stay on the head. Or, you know, just let it... Oh, no. Okay, broke off his ultimate. That's good. You can eat the body hit, champ. Oh, he's down again. Keep him down. Keep your ass down. Yeah! We knocked out the number five contender. Oh! Pillow Punches is moving up. With the upset right there. With the upset. Merciless Jacks defeated in round three. Oh, we've unlocked a new outfit, too. We can rock the white right there if we want to. How much money did we get paid for that? Do we make a bunch of cash off that shit? I hope that we did, man. I gotta renovate this gym. Oh, we can also just give him flat stats. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep increasing his stamina for right now. Keep the stamina moving on up. And so, career fame, salary week is 40 bucks a week. That's not a great paycheck. That's a rough paycheck right there. I can send out the scout. Oh, we got a scout report ready. Okay. Picking the top three candidates out of 36 that he scouted. Eh, none of these guys are really that great. We got a brawler over here. He's 7 and 8. I'll train him. Titanium Jones. That's a pretty dope name, though. That's a pretty dope name, though. Titanium Jones. Titanium. Fe oh, Titanium Jones is kind of swole, son. Oh, my God. Titanium Jones is kind of huge. My name is Splattercat. This is Boxing School. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. If you want to get the game for yourself, it's down in the description as always. How you doing? Take care, everybody.